Hi, I'm Cody Daigle-Oriens. And I'm Alex Giannini, and we're the program managers of the Westport Library. Forgot for a second. <laughs> and this is 10 Questions with short video interviews with some of our favorite authors while they and we are stuck at home. These 10 questions are for Gwendolyn Keist. Say hi, Gwen. Hi. So StoryFest fans will know Gwendolyn from both our 2018 and 2019 festivals. And we're excited to, to announce that Gwen will be three-peating. She'll be here for StoryFest 2020. Um, she is the Bram Stoker award-winning author of The Rust Maidens um, and the short story collection and her smile will untether the universe. Uh, and her latest, The Invention of Ghosts, wait, I, wait for it, I got it. Uh, <laughs> the Invention of Ghosts is a limited edition. All three. I have more. I also have Pretty Mary's all in a row if you want that one too. Um, but for her latest, for The Invention of Ghosts, it's a limited edition signed chapbook. It's out right now from Nightscape Press, nightscapepress.pub. You better hurry up because as I'm talking, there are only two copies left. They're awesome and they are signed. So welcome, Gwen. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> so first question, what project of yours do you, th do you think people should grab while they are stuck at home? I'm going to go with The Invention of Ghosts because it's the newest one and it's limited edition. Also, it's fairly short. So if you want something longer than a short story, but maybe like some of us, our attention is a little divided right now and you don't want to get into a novel. It's like the perfect length, a little bit longer than a short story, but not a full novel. How about a, a go-to book by somebody else that you're kind of leaning into right now? Uh, the Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. I got an advanced uh, ebook from Saga Press, and I'm loving that so far. That's like, I've heard it described as like the buzziest horror book this year, and it's definitely true. Everybody's talking about it. It's, it's great. I'm very much enjoying that. Yeah, what you couldn't see is that both Alex and I like nodded our heads hugely, because we also read it this weekend, too, and it's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, what about a go-to album right now? I've been listening to a lot of Warren Zevon. I love Warren Zevon. I love Werewolves of London. It's like, he, he's so great. And I, I feel, I've, I've heard other people say this, that it would be so interesting to hear what he would have to say about current times because he had such an interesting perspective. And like, he's, he's missed, fortunately, probably for him, he's missed out on a lot of the horrible things that have happened over the last few years. But he definitely had such a unique and kind of morbid, but down to earth way of looking at things. So it's like his music's definitely bringing me some, some comfort right now. I will admit to listening to Carmelita on a loop yesterday afternoon after four o'clock. <laughs> that is such a great song. <laughs> um, how about a, a go-to movie or maybe a TV show that you're binging? I'm going back to Mad Men. I, I love the 1960s. And even though I don't love a lot of the things that happened in the 1960s, because there, there was a lot of, you know, tumultuous things, I think there's a lot of parallels between then and now, though, with how much, you know, there was a lot of push and pull between the left and right and, and a country at war and a lot of things like that. So I, I like going back to that show because I think it, it it hits on something that was both, you know, nostalgic, but also very modern and, and kind of commenting on um, social change that I think still re resonates even now. What about a go-to beverage right now? Coffee, definitely coffee. I mean, I, I'm trying to at least drink decaf a little more often in the evening so that <laughs> way I can sleep because sleep is definitely a good thing right now. I'm like, we can just sleep away some of the quarantine. That sounds good. But definitely coffee. I love my coffee. How about a, uh, a go-to work from home outfit? I'm still trying to get like dressed up. Like I always like to wear dresses and my black tights and my Doc Martin boots. I'm still trying to do that. I'm wearing that right now. I'm like, I'm trying to have some normalcy. Like I'm still trying to be like, I'm still me, but I'm wearing a lot of workout clothes because I'm trying to work out more. Like trying to make the most of this to be like that way by just sitting in front of my computer. As I've heard it, doom scrolling, just scrolling through bad news. Like I've heard people <laughs> describe it as that. And I'm like, wow, that's exactly what it is. So I'm trying to not doom scroll. So it's either I'm in like dressed up like normal or I'm trying to work out more. So we'll see how much that works out for me by the end of quarantine. <laughs> what about a go-to place you'd rather be right now? 
So I've been thinking, I've actually been thinking about that even before today, and I would love to see the Hemingway house in Key West, Florida. There's a bunch of his like descendants of his cat, I think named Snow White, and they're like those little five finger cats. And I'd always wanted to go. And I said to my husband, I'm like, we can't put this up. I'm like, maybe the place will still be there, but who knows how long we'll be in quarantine. So it's like, you got to see these places now while you can. So I'm like, we're, we're going to see the Hemingway house. I'm going down to Key West at some point. I want to meet the cats. <laughs> How about a, uh, a go-to time waster, uh, guilty pleasure or otherwise? Oh, oh that's, that's a good one. Um, I hate to say anything's a time waster, but we have been binging some shows that I don't know that I would have watched otherwise. We just binged um, The Haunting of Hill House, which I didn't want to watch because I knew it wasn't that closely related to Shirley Jackson's book, but I'm glad that we did it because it was interesting in some places. So, so that now where my husband and I are watching Castle Rock, which I also was like, I'm not sure, but so really just binging some shows that I'm like, I don't know that we would have seen it otherwise, but now we have, so there's that. How about a go-to person you'd like to hear answer these questions? Krista Carmen. I love Krista. I don't know if you guys have interviewed her yet, but I, I adore her. So yeah, she's, she's been at StoryFest the first two years as well. So yeah, yep. so I, absolutely. I'd love to hear her answer this. Cool. Uh, and how about a, a go-to nostalgia bomb that brings you to a happy place? My husband and I have been playing some vintage board games. That's like I've dug stuff out of like our game closet, like that we hadn't played for a while. We've been playing Clue and we're going to play Masterpiece probably tonight, like this old like art game. I posted a picture of it online and some people were like, yeah, I remember that. And other people were like, what the heck is that game? And I'm like, like the actual version we have is from 1970. And so when I'm looking at like the backs of the cards, we had a Picasso and Picasso was still alive when they actually printed this. Cause it's got like the, you know, night, whatever, 1880 or something when he was born through and there's nothing filled in like, oh my gosh, Picasso was still alive when this, when this version was printed. So it's very vintage. So vintage games are a big thing in our house right now. So how can people find you online while they're stuck at home? I'm on Facebook and Twitter. You can look up by my name, Gwendolyn Keist, and also on my blog. I'm still trying to post interviews and uh, submission roundup. We should have that tomorrow. So if people are at home and writing, want to find a place to send their work, then I should have that up. So yes, yeah, so on my blog, so it's GwendolynKeist.com, and then just my name on Twitter and on Facebook. Awesome. Hey, Thales, thank you so much for taking a couple minutes out of the uh, quarantine day to, uh, to talk with us a little bit. <laughs> thank you so much for having me. This was so much fun. So if you want to check out uh, this one again or watch other ones, you can uh, find them on the Westport Library's website at westportlibrary.org. And uh, thanks again, Gwen. Thank you.